Hey everybody, it's Jim. Um, I am in Egypt right now. Uh, we're at the Four Seasons in Giza. You can see the Nile River right down there. And out that window, you can see the Great Pyramid. It's been an awesome week. Uh, I've been here with just my two boys, my nine-year-old and seven-year-old. Um, Emily's home with the baby, her two-year-old Faith. Um, just didn't quite think she could make a 25-hour plane trip. <laughs> so, so I just brought the boys on this one. Um, but while I've I've been here, it's been an awesome week. We've been working with the Creator Studio. Um, Ricky and I last week sat down and looked at the most common issues we saw with the writing um, from the Creator Studio. And what we decided in the end is we're going to give the Creator Studio three days to just go through all the art articles on Snake Owner and just spend 15 minutes on each one, just kind of cleaning things up, anything we've noticed that wasn't quite right. Um, but they received the same writer training that you guys received. And the number one mistake by far that we saw it looking at their writing is not quite honing down your voice as you're writing. Um, and since you guys both received this, the training, there's a good chance that many of you are struggling with the same thing. Um, so initially in the training, what we said is that we want you to answer each question like a neighbor and not like an encyclopedia. You know, use I, be sarcastic, be funny, etc., cetera, um, and just explain it like a friend would explain it to you. However, um, what we found is that some, many of the writers, not some, like most of them, have gotten too folksy, too loose, um, too maybe even bordering on unprofessional um, in the writing. And so that's something that we really wanted to clean up. Now, a lot of our writers are English majors, and I think they feel like, oh, if I want to be a good writer, I need to do, you know, creative writing. And that's not really what this is. Um, it's really more technical writing. It's really just explaining something very, very clearly. Now, if you're only a technical writer, if you're only explaining things clearly, you're kind of a commodity. Uh, it's just who can explain this article, the, the cleanest, um, but doesn't really establish rapport with the reader and make the person want to come back. So there are benefits to both. But I have two specific examples for you. And I feel really bad sharing specific negative example here. I hope the person never sees this. Um, but it's just my opinion after writing thousands of blog posts that I don't think this is great writing for the web. But I wanted to share with you something specific that I saw just as I was browsing blogs this week so that I can hopefully kind of hone in on what exactly I mean. So this is on a blog called Clean Technica. Uh, they write about Tesla, which is why I'm interested in them. Um, and the writer is Zachary Sheehan. Uh, Sheehan. Um, and I want you to look up this specific article. Look up 18 nasty Tesla charts from Clean Technica published on October 21, 2018. Um, Google it, and I want you to read this whole article. Um, I'm just going to mention a couple sentences here that will uh, hopefully kind of make the point clear at least. Oh, these gorilla pods. There we go. Um, here we go. Let's see. Okay, given Tesla's size, their clean nature, their beautiful design and fun characteristics, Perhaps we'll call Tesla an angelfish. What? In any case, while some people admired them and appreciated them in the ocean, others could easily ignore and scoff at their insignificance. Then along came the Model 3. Tesla Model 3 is beautiful, but nasty. It is a monster of the ocean that is packing its muscles with gigatons of seaweed. The Model 3's sails splash is creating waves and waves of clean energy fun. Then we have a re reference to the band Hanson. Um, I, I mean, it's just all over the place. Like, you can tell the writer is trying to um, be interesting, and it's not really working. Um, as I was reading this through this, I just kept feeling like, get to the point, man. What are you trying to say? Um, it, it was just all over the place. It just... And I think because Ricky and I focus quite a bit on word counts for articles, there's a real tendency for it to become this. 
uh, to become this just very loose, folksy kind of writing because it adds words. Um, and that's not really at all what we're going for. Um, so let me show you now a positive example. Um, this one's gonna be super nerdy unless you're into photography, uh, but there's a really excellent writer uh, named Roger Sakala. He writes for Lens Rentals. He's one of the founders of Lens Rentals. Um, and I love the way he writes. I love it. He's hilarious sometimes. Like there have been multiple times that I've laughed out loud while I was reading his blog posts. Um, and it's, it's super nerdy stuff. Um, but he explains it in just very precise language. Uh, and he does get to the point even while being funny. So I want you to read his writing too. You'll see it's very different. It's funny, it's interesting, but it's very different than what we saw in Clean Technica. So the specific article, um, the one that I'm pointing out here is Sigma 135 F18 Art MTF Charts and a Look Behind the Curtain. <laughs> okay, so first thing to note here is I'm not asking you to recreate his keyword research or the types of articles he writes. He writes a lot of rants and things like that because his blog has a very different purpose than what we're doing in Project 24. So we're talking about the writing style, not the keyword research and that kind of thing. Um, but he's just, it's precise language, it's funny sometimes, it's expressive, but it doesn't cross the line into unprofessional. Um, and so I just wanted to give you those two examples today um, and just ask you to maybe look back at a couple articles. And I mean, I would say 70% maybe of the writers at the Creator Studio were having this issue. And so there's a real good chance that many of you are having the same issue. So I want you to just go back and read one or two of your articles and Objectively, sometimes we tend to think we're better at things than, than we really are. Objectively, look at it and say, how am I doing there? Am I, have I crossed the line a little bit into overly folksy? And if so, this is a time to come back. So hopefully this uh, little tip was helpful. Kind of shows you a little bit of the kind of stuff that I'm working on behind the scenes. Bye guys.